Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. So. So here we are. <laughs> And uh, where where'd you want to begin? I don't know where you want to begin. Well, I like the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans ask, uh, they don't say, how are you? They say, what's good? What's good? Um, what's good? Well, I'm working on videos to, uh, like I went up to this old growth blockade and so now i'm just starting to put all the videos together which is a long slow laborious process but i'm actually doing it which a lot of times i never take it from the filming into the editing and then on the line so i seem to be looking at doing the full circle uh, it seems very uh like it's the last remaining valley on vancouver island it's like one percent of the old growth is left in bc and so you know, in the next two, three years, it'll all probably be cut down pretty much, except for the protected stuff. So, but it's, it's, it seems very valuable to me. So that's, that's my main thing. Plus working on, you know, all the other things in bits and pieces. I always, you know, I've been, I got, you know, maps coming out of my yin yin. I just got, I'm overwhelmed by work pretty much all the time. And, and nearly not, almost none of it is paid. So. That's my world right now. Yeah, I hear you. So let me just apologize for a previous version of myself and his frustrations and shadows coming out. It's uh, for me, what's good is, is that is that process. Um, I've been involved now in so many groups and just I've been through a phase of learning and sharing and, and listening and seeing what's out there and who's doing what and meeting Palestinians in Germany and Venezuelans and all these people who are very marginalized and, uh, you know, just trying to see the human in everyone going beyond the appearance and trying to connect with uh, the soul behind it and uh, what that soul is really saying and singing, you know, so and also my own, what, what's really going on here in this, in this person? <laughs> and, uh, you know, what's the best use of me at this time? That's what I'm, I'm really been focusing on. Um, and how to fund this movement of movements. There's so many movements now and uh, people linking up and sharing and the games people and the, the platforms, the VR people, the you know, the digital currency people, the hollow chain people, the distributed internet people, all this stuff seems to be aligning more and resonating. People starting to, you know, more coherence is happening, I, I sense. And I, I find that a lot more people are in, in into that language of resonance, coherence. How do we converge? How do we support one another to amplify each other's work rather than get in each other's way and argue about who's got the best this and the best that we've all got our own maps and ways of seeing things so our own reality is really and how do we interweave i think and integrate is is what i'm is what i'm focusing on really that's that's where i'm at mm. yeah that link you sent me today is huge i mean <laughs> you know putting together the gene keys human design mind calendar and yeah these guys are yeah i mean I, I sent them a message just to try to communicate and see if I can connect into them to see what they're doing. So that's very, very valuable. Thank you. I mean, I, I guess from my point of view, you know, a lot of times when the big shadow work happens, Pleasure. Yes. I'm just going to, I'm going to take my, my Wi-Fi off and see it. Sometimes the Wi-Fi doesn't work so well here. Yeah, so there's a group of people doing the Civex stuff. There's a guy in, in London, an amazing programmer, has been working seven years on 
something called Oasis, which is much better. I don't know if you've seen the film Ready Player One. Have you seen that film? Yeah. Yeah, so he's basically creating that. Whoa. <laughs> the actual, and he, he's mirroring his life with uh, Halliday, the guy who is the sort of Asperger's autistic programmer. And he is that, he is an Asperger's autistic programmer. And he says, it's amazing how similar that guy's life is to me. And uh, so he's got a guy called David Ellums who's in England and they're now connecting up with the CivX people. And there's another bunch called Open World Alliance, which is in Ibiza. And they're all having a conversation tomorrow night, which I'm on, hopefully. And it's just seeing how everyone can help each other really and integrate all of these different projects. And um, yeah, I mean, some of it, there's a whole, you know, the whole psychedelic, people who are used to psychedelics in that community, and then there's people who are very knowledgeable from the older world, like in LA, and who've done big events. There's a guy in, in the group who does that. There's an Awakening Synergies group that are doing all sorts of stuff around quantum computing and, and cryptocurrencies and random number generators and the biofuels. And it's all, it's all like, whoa! <laughs> it's like, you know, how, how does that all line up? Because a lot of people in the plant medicine, ayahuasca, psychedelic community, they've, they've, they've had their experiences and it's often difficult to put that into words to people who've never had that. And then you've got people here just living here who are just like normal everyday people who, who also have their dreams and passions that, that are waking up to something. So it's, uh, for me, because I'm, I think like yourself, you know, you, you can connect with anybody really. And it's for me, it's choosing who are the people to focus on, what's what's the best use of my time, because I can't be in all these groups all the time. Mm. And uh, what's the best use of me? So I'm I'm seeing that one of the my intentions is to maybe go back to doing podcasting and, and, and interviewing people and then curating Here's the projects in Thailand and Sri Lanka and Africa and what's happening in Australia, what's happening in Malaysia, this is what's happening in London, what's happening here so that people can then connect and weave in. And then, oh, I should talk to Elijah in Toronto, I should talk to Gino in Hong Kong and, and go beyond all the personality difficulties and just say, right, well, we've all got our jobs to do. We've all got our missions. How do we, we all want a beautiful world. We all want this green paradise. <laughs> and uh, we're all in the same renaissance movement i think rather than a revolution and therefore it's a strategy and tactics behind that um yeah so, well if i may add something i guess going back to our disconnect and maybe all over the world i mean i think people have been going doing their shadow work and different things are coming up for everybody and i think from my end if i'm involved in that shadow work with someone i mean one of the first things i guess we're supposed to do is look at yourself and go okay what is it in what is it in me that this other person's reflecting back and yeah. so what i saw was there are times and especially around money where i'll i will misinterpret something or i jump to a conclusion and then and then end not necessarily i don't know like to me such a the thing is so small compared to the value that we hold and that to to interpret that and to sabotage or even end the relationship that we created and all the good things we were forging together i just couldn't comprehend you know the the disconnect like the trigger for you because from my end it you know, it wasn't a big thing. I thought I was holding up to my end of the bargain or whatever I was saying. And you and I, you were expecting a different pace or, you know, whatever was going on for you. And then not willing to actually discuss it, you know, like, like but, it, but it, you know, I, I know that whenever I've been in a very hurt place, um, you know, you forget the level of kind of frustration or pain that can come out in certain triggers. And so, um, I'll put it back to you. Yeah, 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 I agree. And it's, it's the, 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 the depth of the, of the wounds. You know, I just had a, I'm in a, only the past two weeks, I had this internal revelation that my mother, so I've been doing a lot of work on my, my grandmother's suicide. 
and really going into the pain of that. And a lot of it's to do with abandonment and abandoning a child and then going into perhaps one of the greatest abandonments of all when, you know, Christ on the cross going, why have you forsaken me, Dad? <laughs> you know, and it's like going into that abandonment as a an experience and saying, and, and feeling left out, you know, that I'm, I'm not in many conversations, I'm not in things because I can't enter into those groups because I don't have the financial support to do it. And it's really frustrating not to be able to have that Ba even basic income to have the, the comfort to then say, right, how can I contribute and give my gifts? And uh, and it's been very helpful for me to also think that I learned from my mother about volunteering. So my mother, my mother volunteered all her life. And so I grew up with a, a mother who volunteered and a father who I never saw, who was working all the time, earning money so that she could do that. So I saw my dad being not very happy. I'm saying, I don't really want that. I don't want to live like that. Whereas my mom seems to be doing a lot of good in the community, helping elders, helping anybody she met, and seemed to be having much more fun. So for me, the whole money issue around transactional and packaging myself to sell myself, it's, it's really ugly. I find it uncomfortable. So that, that allowed me to say, uh, that's probably why I've been patterned to that kind of behavior. I don't have the patron. I don't have the father to pay me to do what I need to do. So, and the reticence to actually to, 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 to package something, to create something and sell it, it just, it, it doesn't seem to be working for me right now. So I'm looking for different ways to reconfigure myself so that I can help and support, which has also led me to putting the game of, the game of now on the side burner when, when actually the game of now and all the stuff I wanted to create, the tech, it's a beautiful project, it's beautiful work, but I've never found the right people to work with and the technology, and I see everyone else in these groups doing their own thing and finding their place, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> oh, but maybe it's just more patience and just finding the the right combination and just keep going. That's that's really where, where well, I'm at. And, and also, it's kind of like, you know, we had done I think at least ten one-on-one -on -one videos, maybe more. They're actually loaded in the secret plan. Um, you know, I had made a video for you. You know, I the money I did send was like 30% of my total holdings at the time. So like the person who's actually there with you, working with you, is not the person to sink their ship with, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah. to me is the extent of our insanity, right? Where, you know, the, the very people that were closest to me in the first you know? Yeah. I'm like, you know, I was, it was funny because I had it happen with another person that week. So I lost what I felt two really good friends in the same time period. And, and for me, you know, we're, you know, kind of, I've experienced so many things, let's say going sideways at the weirdest times. You know, the next one, you kind of, you think, well, not anymore. I've learned my lesson. And then the next one comes in and, and you're, you're like, like, can't we do anything? Like, can't. <laughs> But to, but to me, I guess it's, it's, you know, I look at what you just sent me and I look at you and I go, you have so much value. And I really, you know, you're one of the few people I, I do maintain uh, communication with in this form. And so to me, you're one of the characters in the very plan. And then seeing, you know, well, people come in, people go out and you never know why, like you had to go do your thing and I did my thing. And, and sometimes I find like whenever I'm thrown out of somewhere, because I've been there too long and I need to move somewhere else. And so a lot of conflict or, or things can be that the purpose behind it is just to get us moving, right? So perhaps it gave us both another level of that. Okay, well fuck them, I'm gonna I'm get my fucking shit done, right? Because I, I think we're gonna get out of this financial hole together. I think it's a, a team effort and it's a team of very odd people. But I see that you always link me into very interesting and good people. So, I mean, you're a master networker. And I think that, you know, we may not be able to help each other with money, but just that link you sent me is massive. So I think as we always have the other person in mind, you know, then the, the universe uses us to, to, to get that person where they need to go. And if we're not, you know, thinking, I'm not going to do it unless you pay me kind of thing. Oh, wow. 
that there's more of an ally, there's more of a big picture belief, then things will happen that are going to be, yeah. You know, I, I think that the reason, you know, both of us and many of us are have such a bad relationship with money is just because we see what money does in the world and we see, you know, it hasn't been based upon, you know, universal good principles, right? It's a big scam in many ways. So I think there is some wisdom behind it. And so to learn how we, we've had to learn to do things very differently because when yeah. you have a lot of money, you do things very differently because now you're resourced, but if you don't have it, you, you have to interact with people very differently, right? You've got to be way more humble. You've got to be way more resourceful and you've got to add value. You've got, you've got to add value to people's lives. And then people, you know, you might get a meal or you might get a, a bus ride or <laughs> strange things happen at the weirdest times. But if, if you, if you're always relying on money, then you can never go ahead sometimes. So yeah, I think we've made a lot of progress. I'm just wondering about your, your game and your book and uh, that business relationship guy and feel that like what's going on specifically for you? Is anyone helping you with your game? Well, what's happening is uh, I'm really interested in the people who, I think you said it actually in the very, the very first, I think when I saw you uh, with Gregory and the first call you had with him, it's about, you know, when you have put your life's work into something to be curious enough about the other to have the patience to understand and really get to know somebody else's work. That's a commitment, you know, and especially if someone's been working something for 20 years or, or whatever it is, then, you know, you know, you could talk about your work for days and, and, and the same for me and the same for Gregory or the same for anybody in our world, you know, the, the pioneers really, who've, who've been hacking away at the forest and then, you know, what I find is people come out of the forest, we're sitting around the campfire and going, that's exactly what I saw. That's, yeah, we've all got the same downloads, S similar maps. And then it's like, how do we weave those maps together um, and, and move beyond our personalities, which for me, you know, we, we're sort of the generation Xers, late 60s, 70s, who grew up in a very different world. We were bridging between the boomers and the digital natives and, and these young ones have all the, you know, the, the guy I'm working with, Lumi, I don't know if you know Lumi, but he's in his early 30s and he's, he's brilliant. I and mean, he's absolutely brilliant with consciousness and everything. So he's clearer and he's really heart-based, huge heart. And, and that's what I'm finding, people who resonate through the heart first. And then I'm being curious about people. So tell me about your vision. I want to hear what you think, and what you see. And few people say to me, Hey Graham, tell me about your work, and I want to know you, and I want to find out, and tell me the whole story. And I, I, I don't find many people doing that. <laughs> um, so it's like, uh, and this is where I, I actually like, in some ways, Tammy's process of one hour sharing, the other person shares back, and then you say, right, what are the where, where are the commonalities, and how can I help? I know someone that maybe can help you there. So that's just three hours of time uh, spent, really, with with. Any, any one individual, and that is a commitment when there's so many people out there. Um, and often I find, as I'm sure you have, is like someone appears and goes, I've got the answer, I found it, I've been working on this for 20 years and this is it. Yep, 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 it's, it's great. You know, there are others who've got that same vision. And in fact, some of our elders were doing this in the 60s, they were doing it in the 70s, they were, they were building the internet from scratch, they were learning about all the, the potential of mind ecosystems, telepathy, um, going with the flow, trusting the universe, accessing their gifts, activating their potential, all of these things, whether it's through, you know, consuming certain, you know, plant-based, um, you know, tools, I would call them tools, to, to be able to see more clearly and see beyond the, the 3D reality that we're in. Mm. And then it's a language thing, because a lot of people talk like that, and people I know go, that sounds weird that's weird woo woo stuff and then it's like how to find the language to interface with people in, in so many different realities um and yeah choosing the people to focus on the people who genuinely are interested in you as a person and I actually had a conversation today with a friend saying the people i got on really well with are those i've had relationships with for 20 years and we've been through so much together we, we've we're like we're great friends even though we've fallen out a lot and come back and come back but we sort of we keep we keep going and 
you know, we forgive each other and move on. And um, it, it's really hard to see as well, what is the actual living situation somebody's in? So that's one of the things I'm doing now is saying, tell me about your situation right now and, and being as open as transparent as you can. You know, like, yeah, I've got this, my, you know, my, my daughter, she's not doing well at school and I've got a friend who's struggling, you know, he's, he's depressed and I've got this guy here and he's my help. And that really helps. You and I'll share where I'm at, and, and we can somehow support you know, people first and then go into the ideation and the projects and the, and the vision. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that's that's well, key. And then when you're talking, something sparks like there's a yes, there's a sort of an energy, and you go, That's where the fire is, you know. I, I agree, and I think that I find with people who aren't good at understanding your context and take no time to figure it out. There is a lower level of intimacy or connection. I mean, it's, it's generally um, a one-way street in that regard, because I, I find, I, I agree with you. I, I think that it's very important to figure out where someone's at in a very like, financial, if their relationship, if they're, you know, the kids or non-kids and all the things that are important with them and whether they're going well or not, because if, I find in so many situations, you know, if someone's romantic life isn't going well, that, you know, they, they're, they're, they're very depressed or if their money isn't there, they're very depressed and, and people's productivity, you know, or their ability to, if you say you're going to work together, you know, how much bandwidth do they have for that? Because so, so many people are just filled up. Right. And so I find, you know, I, I yeah. still have enough room to sort of put into other things, but but I at the same time I'm overwhelmed with my own work. But I'm I'm used to that, so I, I'm not under any huge time frame of what I'm supposed to do. But I, I am blocked around my software program, and I need to create a. I'd like you to take a look at it. I don't know. Have mm -hmm. I shown you it at all? Have you seen the the chat room? Okay, so I'll, I'll send you software program i'm wondering maybe i can do you mind could i show it to you now yeah, show it to me now i mean i'm just i'm aware that i'm running out of data probably and if if i suddenly drop off the call you know why okay but uh let's let's give it a go yeah okay just just okay let's just maybe i'll give a bit of context as, as it's loading so this is the uh the first time working with a programmer that was sort of following my lead and this was looking at creating a contextual framing for a chat room that had certain elements and one of them was creating like i've got these two models which i probably brought up with you that are uh, one or five spaces the personal 101 group community and sacred space and then another model of business intimate service family friendship and social so if you put those two together there's like 30 space fields, like business one-on-one -on -one or social group or, you know, intimate one-on-one. -on -one. And so that's the larger framing. And then we add in a sort of a perspective within the inflow matrix of which, which part, and it was kind of like media teams, superhero teams, uh, shared knowledge community and issue coalitions. So that was looking at that perspective. And then there's, you can give it a point score. That's like personal points, one-on-one -on -one points, group points and, and community points. And that links into the five communication model. And then you can set a goal and have a step with the seven steps model. And then you can actually choose a conversation type, a value and a conceptual lens. It's like, there's, there's quite a lot of framing going on. I went a little, you know, it, a little too much. And then a timer of how long it would take, right? So you've got a point score, a goal, a perspective, a, a, a spell all within to frame a chat room. So the facilitator would choose all of these things. And then where I got stuck in it and press the button and you have the chat room that would load in any website, right? But it, we got stuck because I went on the road and when I got, went on the road, everything fell apart. I just, I, I, my body fell apart, I fell apart. And 
I, I couldn't keep up any of my online stuff. And so this was, I had just, oh shoot. 